what we really find uh, incredibly good is that um, uh, recycling rate in Belgium is compared to the average in Europe much higher. So we have almost a um, 96% rate for tires going into material recycling and only 4% going into incineration, uh, which is um, outstanding in Europe, honestly. Uh, I think it's the only country which um, has such a high rate of material recovery. If you look at the European average, you uh, would say that it's about um, uh, 50 percent going into granulation, uh, 35 percent going into incineration, and the uh, rest uh, is covering other parts. So we are talking about a very different uh, and much higher rate of material recycling in Belgium compared to the average in Europe. The secret of Belgium is that um, uh, there has been uh, always a, a good recycling industry locally so there historically there was companies utilizing rubber granulate uh, on a material recycling way and also just across the border in Germany for example France there are also companies uh, doing a lot of material recycling so um, it's not required to send the tires to a cement industry At the moment, um, European-wide, I would say that pyrolysis is still regarded as an um, energy recovery uh, route. Uh, but uh, due to the fact that the industry is evolving very quickly, um, it's using a lot of upgrading technology more and more to um, improve the value of the output of a pyrolysis line. So, on the oil on the one hand, but also the char or recovered carbon black on the other hand. So you give it a much higher value than it was before. And by that, uh, you are more and more substituting uh, virgin raw materials, like crude oil, like virgin carbon black, which is produced 100% of crude oil. And in that sense, um, I'm of the opinion that uh, it's, it's definitely worth considering putting it into an, um, in the material recycling uh, rather than uh, energy recovery. I absolutely agree that the Greener Funds uh, is an initiative which is very well appreciated by, by the industry. Um, in the end, uh, we are dealing with a, still a waste material and we should find the most appropriate and most environmentally friendly but also economical use to convert it into, into a product after all and not just to burn it and, and off it goes. So, uh, but it needs encouragement, it needs uh, money to run tests, to look into new applications. You need to have the money to fail also in order to make something great. And uh, I think by Greener Fund, uh, this is the best way to, to provide that uh, playground basically, to develop new applications and uh, and find new markets for the future.